Hello and welcome to Reddit Tell All. Today we are going to be looking at r slash true off my chest. If you do like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and with that out the way, on with the story. My husband got jealous over the girl he led on for years at our wedding. I, 25 female, got married to my husband, 24 male, we'll call him Jim, a week ago, after dating for two and a half years. Jim has a friend called Misha, 22 female, who was invited to the wedding. He and Misha have known each other since high school and were close friends. And Misha had a very obnoxious crush on Jim from what he and others who know them have told me. Jim told me this after I met Misha for the first time and confessed that he leaned in to her crush and led her on throughout their high school years and for a little while after. Before we got together, because he was struggling with his mental health and he really liked her attention, he seemed genuinely guilty about all of that because he thought Misha was a nice girl and a good friend. And because he showed guilt, I didn't feel the need to bring it up or argue about it, despite thinking it was a crappy thing to do. Plus, Misha is a nice girl who has never overstepped boundaries and has been nothing but kind and friendly towards me. I now consider her a friend too. Misha moved away to the city last year and has done really well for herself and has a long-term boyfriend who none of us have met yet. So when it came to sending wedding invites, I told her she was welcome to bring him as her plus one. The first red flag came when Jim was weirdly resistant to the idea of Misha bringing her boyfriend, but he excused it on being concerned about the number of guests we invited and the matter was dropped. When the wedding day came, Misha showed up in this beautiful dress, nothing inappropriate for a wedding, and with her boyfriend on her arm, who I'll admit is a very handsome guy. Think a Kit Harrington type. She's also lost weight and has a haircut that suits her better, and I thought she looked great. We also found out throughout the night that her boyfriend is very successful and earns more than practically anyone else who attended. Throughout the reception, I noticed Jim glaring at Misha and her boyfriend the whole time and he was really cold and short towards her when she came over to congratulate us and give us a gift. He was also straight up kind of rude to her boyfriend when Misha introduced us to him. When his mum, who's always known and liked Misha, mentioned that she was glad Misha found a great guy and praised her boyfriend for being so nice, Jim snapped that at least she won't be desperate and hung up on me for the rest of her life, which I thought was cruel and uncalled for but i didn't challenge him because i didn't want to argue at my wedding despite the fact that he frankly sounded bitter the whole thing has left an awful taste in my mouth and i can't help but think that jim got jealous that misha has found a guy who's honestly quite a catch who she's clearly very in love with and is now completely over Jim. Half update. After getting some PMs from people, I decided to go through his phone while he was napping after work. And needless to say, this marriage is over. I'll post a real update when I have sorted everything out. Update. Hey everyone, I'm posting this here because I said in my last post that I would update when I was able to. Pretty much the day after my original post, I got some PMs from people suggesting that I go through my husband, Jim's phone, to see if he and Misha were truly just friends before this and that nothing romantic happened between them that would explain his reaction at the wedding. 
He always takes a 45 minute nap after work and so I use that as my opportunity to swipe his phone from where it was charging on his desk so that I could look through it. I've seen him put in his passcode a ton of times so that wasn't an issue. I didn't find anything in his texts with her but I know that Jim goes on Instagram a lot so I checked there too. The immediate red flag was that he'd used an app lock that required a passcode to access Instagram, but the dumbass used the same passcode that he uses to unlock his phone, so I got into that right away. It's his birth year, go figure. And what would you know? I go to his messages with Misha and find messages from him the morning after our wedding telling her how beautiful she'd looked that night, how much he'd missed her, how he felt that her boyfriend being there spoiled his opportunity to catch up with her and that he was desperate to meet up with her. Misha never replied to these messages and he sent some more to her later that day. I won't get into what he said because they were very personal insults that were frankly just gross. But just think about the kind of stuff you would read on that nice guy's subreddit. Misha left him on red and when I clicked on her account, it appears that she's blocked him. I scrolled through their messages quite far back and I believe nothing romantic has happened between them. I wish that was all, but looking into his other conversations on Instagram, I found that he's been messaging other girls on there. They seemed like aspiring Instagram model types from our area. Most of these conversations were just him shooting his shot and getting left on red, but others had evolved into flirting and two of them resulted in sexting and the most embarrassing part of all the nudes he was sending to these women weren't even of him i know what his body looks like and he doesn't have chiseled abs and isn't that well endowed i think he must have found a man's profile on some adult website and use those pictures just cropping the face out. These two conversations happened in the past six months. I ended up texting his mum and his brother from my phone, asking them to come and pick him up from the apartment. And then I went to wake him up. I told him that I knew about the girls he was messaging on Instagram, that he needed to pack a bag and get the hell out before I start throwing his stuff out on the street and causing a scene. He started crying and begging me not to kick him out and swore that they were just messages and that he would never actually cheat on me but I don't believe him for a second. Then he had the nerve to tell me that he didn't want me to tell anyone else about what he'd done, but I had left the room and started ignoring him by that point. He left with his mum and brother and is staying there from what I know. I've blocked him on everything for the time being until I'm ready to tell him that I'm seeking annulment thankfully where i'm from you can get one almost no questions asked as long as you haven't been married for longer than 30 days and i've already looked into the process i haven't really left my apartment at all this week and i've been calling in sick to work because i don't feel like i can face people i'm just so embarrassed that i've wasted over two years on this man and that I married him in the first place. I don't feel like I can even talk to people about this. So posting here has helped and I'd like to thank you all for your kind words, advice and support. I might reach out to Misha when the dust has settled, but I think I'll need to build up some courage for that. 
Well, that's the story today and poor OP, she found out just a week too late, which is very, very unfortunate. I think her husband or ex-husband got jealous over Misha because she finally moved on and no longer wanted him. You always want what you can't have and in this case, what he wanted was no longer available. So at least she can get that annulment better than going through divorce proceedings. Wonder if she will actually go through with it. Possibly there will be another update in the future. She only posted the update 15 days ago. So we will see in the future. I'll keep a look at it. And if there is an update, I will leave it in the comments below. What do you think on OP situation? Leave that in the comments below too. And if you did like this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.